Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 16th through the 22nd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. The overall energy for the reading, the Nine of Swords. This is a little bit of a stressed out kind of an energy. Um, okay, we'll go with that. I'm not sure where it fits in, but it will fit it in. In the recent past, the Seven of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. Man, really resilient here. Like really not wanting to give up on something. It almost looks like, okay, you need to give up on this. No. I shall not. But you need to know. But no. Kind of like that. What is this? What are you hanging on to there? Okay. In the current situation, the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Empress. This is a great energy. This is really stepping into your power and really feeling good about pretty much whatever you created as your reality, your life. You know, there's a whole lot of great energy here. A whole lot of independence, freedom, feeling, oh my God, this feels so good. So I don't know what you got going on here, but this energy is available. So if you're not stepping into it, please do, because it's really, really nice. Um, in the immediate future, the Three of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Oh, this is interesting, because you're looking at a brand new beginning here, but there's pain in the way. There's a little bit of pain right as you kind of want to cross into this brand new beginning. And it has to do with your heart there, uh, this brand new beginning. Okay. Uh, let's clarify. Let's see. Let me see the nine of swords. King of wands, the strength card, the five of cups. This could be an energy of the past that still kind of gets to you. There's still a little bit of triggering there. There's still a little bit of mm, something about it pisses me off or about this person. I don't know who this is to you, um, but it's definitely tied up to another person that you've had an experience with of some sort. There's still, there's still something going on there that gets to you. All right, let's do the Seven of Swords. Temperance card, the Page of Cups, the Justice card. I still don't know what this is, but it's looking like it's something you've invested in and something that feels, it almost looks like a hobby. Uh, I, I think it's more than that. Because it's like, why, why would you, you know, consider giving up a hobby or why would you have to give it up? Well, there's there could be reasons, but... I don't know. It looks like it carries good, stable energy. I don't know. Let, let's see the Four of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups. So, kind of the same thing in terms of, I see your energy being put into something and then the energy of letting it go comes through. And I'm like, what, whoa, whoa. Especially because you're giving such great energy to it. It's kind of looking like you have to give something up, something that uh, is important to you, something that you love. And you don't want it. You don't want it. But I feel like maybe you have to. I don't know. Let's do the Knight of Swords. The Two of Wands, the Emperor, the Two of Cups. Yeah. You're 
you're kind of looking like whatever time I have to wait for this, you know, to to be back into balance because it, it it has been removed from you somehow. There's either a break or a separation of some sort between you and this other energy, whatever energy this is to you. Sneeze. No. Um. Yeah, it's been removed here. You're still giving, you're still wanting to give, you're still in that place of, I promise I'll wait for you forever and ever and ever kind of a thing. Ah. Or wait for me. I, it's very hard to tell what this is. I do see a separation there of some sort between you and something meaningful to you or even someone. Uh, let's do the King of Pentacles in the current situation. Man, you're looking good here. The Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, the Ten of Pentacles. You're looking good with other energies around you too. So that can involve friends, family, whatever your environment is, whatever's close to home, as I like to say. Um, really stable there, really very high energy in there. In terms of, you know, from a week ago to today, nothing might have changed but your perception and the way you're taking it and the way you're looking at it with um, gratefulness and just kind of appreciating it for what it is, you know? That could be the change in terms of, oh my God, it feels so great. But yesterday it didn't, yeah, but today it does, you know? So it could be just that the energy is very, very high in this department of your own sense of stability and whatever surrounds you in it. Let's do the Nine of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit. Ooh, lots of healing here. Uh, lots of independence, too. You're, you're really emphasizing that in this reading. Like, working on myself, it's about me and my growth. And, and it's, it's not egotistical, it's really a sense of independence. You're, you're lifting yourself up in this very healing energy. With the Wheel of Fortune there, it almost looks like it's great timing here. Like it was about time, you know, for you to, to lift yourself up in this energy. Let's do the Empress. Ooh, who is this? The Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups. Huh. Could this be the past energy there that I see it kind of coming back? Or I see an energy of the past kind of trying to come back. But you're moving on because you're in this, you know... I freed myself from pretty much everything and I'm moving forward in a very independent way. So it comes through as you're moving on. Uh, I don't necessarily get a reaction here. I just see the energies kind of uh, intertwining there. As this energy comes through, you're kind of going and like crossing each other. I don't see your reaction, but I don't need to see it. You are going to have your own reaction to this. Well, let's do the Three of Swords in the immediate future. The Knight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Oh, okay. Hmm. There's a little bit of a struggle here that shows up. That's what the pain is tied up to. Um... It almost feels like for a second there, you forget to love yourself, to put yourself first, you know? You fall off that wagon for a little bit. I don't see you staying off for too long though, but I see it being very difficult. Let's do the Ace of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Three of Swords. Yeah, trying to get back trying to get back but man it's 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 pulling on you this energy trying to get back on the wagon here trying to you know resume because some uh, think of it like this there's an experience coming your way i don't know what kind and while interacting with whatever experience this is your actions show that you're not putting yourself first you might be putting the other person or the experience first you know, before your needs. And then I see you kind of realizing that and trying to, to 
get back on track with this energy of okay you know snap out of it or let's let's get back to business here let's not forget to put ourselves first but i see you having a, a a little bit of a difficult time to get back on that wagon that's the thing but again i don't see it being there long until you realize at least let's do the queen of cups in the immediate future the nine of cups the eight of cups the four of cups I get the sense that this is tied up to the past experience there as it comes back or tries to come back in as a as an energy at least not necessarily the person because you're looking at that with regret with the sense of almost upset that you were so adamant about it you were so like I'm never giving this up I'll wait for you all, all my life and then you find yourself in this position of hmm, I'm not there anymore you know, I don't feel the same thing anymore. And there's a little bit of regret tied up to that. Uh, so this whole energy might be tied up to that experience as well. Let me see what the universe has to close it off. The Eight of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Temperance card. You got a very similar energy here to somebody else. Because I see you healing. I see you doing your thing. You know, growing in this energy. Just, just kind of really, really, really nice energy. And then there's a little bit of a, a hiccup to it. There's a little bit of, there's something going on. I think Leo had it very similar. Was it Leo? I think so, if I'm not mistaken. It could have been somebody else, but it could have been Leo. But very similar where there's an energy that's coming through. There's a hiccup and then you resume. It's like, oh, okay, Look, let me mind my own business again. You know, you're, you're dabbling with this for a little minute. But anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.